Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about marketing for open textbooks. Now that might sound a little intimidating or something like you're not quite sure how to approach, uh, but it is something that everybody can do and it's a really important part of the process of creating and sharing your book. Because it's something you might not be familiar with, we wanted to start by sharing a little bit of how we understand marketing and our philosophy behind it. We see marketing as being about finding the audience for your book. And those are the people who will benefit from it in the long run and for whom you're building it. There are some parallels with traditional marketing, uh, which is about finding a, a market for a product. And really it's about meeting needs, both the ones that people know they already have and others that they might not. To think about this in the context of your book, it's about meeting the needs of instructors and students who will be using it. And that includes the obvious case of using the content in the classroom for teaching, but can also expand out from there and you can think about uh, how they might need uh, ways to engage with different points of view. They might be looking to find community through the book. Uh, they may want to use it as an opportunity to engage with different forms of teaching and open pedagogy. Uh, it might also offer avenues to engage with underrepresented voices, uh, offer improved accessibility and all kinds of other needs that are present. So that's the why of marketing and now we can talk a bit about how you do it. And the most important thing to remember is that it starts on day one. It's not just about when you release content and you're putting it out into the world that you should be thinking about this, but it's important to really be building it in from very early on and developing the kind of mindset towards thinking about marketing, thinking about being open about the work that you're doing and building kind of connections along the way. So that comes with getting the word out early and often about what you're doing. And that can really be collaborative as well, in the same way that you're working on content with your, your team of, of creators. You can also be involving them in the marketing process too. And keep the focus on connection making. That's a really important part of making sure that the marketing is being done in a really genuine and connected way. So that's thinking about how you can link up people with people, have them talking to each other, and then also connecting people with content that is useful for them. Some tactics that you might want to employ on your project are to share stories and project updates along the way. Stories are a really powerful way of showing the impact of the work you're doing. And you can also think about every milestone that you hit as another opportunity to share. So if you've completed the content creation, if we've completed the review process, those are the kinds of things where you have a nice little put a flag up and say, look what we're doing, isn't that great? You can also think about highlighting the stories of your team members, asking them a little bit about why they're contributing and why the project's important to them. And spend some time thinking about what it is about your book that makes it unique and maybe better than what exists already. Uh, there's the power of open in that and creating open content. And then you can also be thinking about how it is more inclusive than work that already exists or how you're focusing on accessibility to make sure it's really built into the foundation. And remember, repetition is good. Get your message out there. Get it out there all the time. You can do that through blog posts, through social media, uh, look at different listservs, both within open education and your discipline. Get a little creative. Uh, we've seen a great example of someone using an email signature, identifying them as the lead author on a text, so everybody who they're in contact with sees that with a link through to the project. Think about conferences, whether you can be presenting about your project or just talking about it over coffee with everybody there. Think about webinars that you might be able to be involved in. And there's something about the tactile that really sticks with people. So if you do have a little bit of budget or if you're kind of a creative person, you can think about whether there's a little bookmark or a postcard or something that you can leave with people when you talk to them. And print is a really good one for that as well. If you're at the point of having a print version of your book, that to be able to share with people uh, is a really, really great way to have them connect with the book. And the last thing I really want to emphasize is that marketing is a two-way street. This isn't just about putting out your messages into the world. You've got to be expecting and thinking about what's going to come back to you as well, and you can facilitate that. So all of the tactics that you're employing, make sure you build in communication pathways back to you so people can get involved, get more information, and connect in different ways.